Six Sigma teams must always be aware that quality comes at a cost. When talking about quality costs, many organizations consider what is known as the cost of poor quality, or COPQ. The cost of poor quality is defined as the costs or expenses associated with defects created by a process. Quality actually has a broader cost avoiding poor quality comes at an expense as well. In some ways, the cost of poor quality is easier to measure than the cost associated with overall quality. CoPQ is usually broken into two major categories, costs associated with external failures and costs associated with internal failures. External and internal failures are often referred to as the costs of non-conformity, they are the expenses that occur when outputs do not conform to critical to quality requirements. External failures the external failures usually occur after products or services have been delivered, which means they are directly associated with customer dissatisfaction. External failures might include revenue losses associated with a reduction in sales because of the quality of products, services, systems, or information. Other types of external losses include expenses associated with repairs, returns, or rework associated with a customer complaint, expenses associated with warranties or loss of revenue or sales because of customer ill will or bad word of mouth. Internal failures Internal failures occur when products, services, or processes don't conform to the requirements set by the company, and the product or service is provided to the customer in an unsatisfactory fashion. Internal failures are usually handled by scrapping the work, redoing the work, or repairing the work. Obviously, such rework results in added material and labor costs, but it also results in losses associated with delays, shortages of parts or inventory, and lack of flexibility or the ability to adapt. For example, if a process has such poor quality that 50% of the items produced by it require rework, then the process might be producing 40% less on a daily basis than it could be. That means the process can serve fewer customers, generate less output, and contribute less overall to the company's profit.